these city lights There's a higher calling on all our lives Let's live to love, not just survive Wake up, what are we waiting for? Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video, and today we have event number eight of season four, Team Hot Wheels versus Team Spin Master competition. But before we get into the round one matchups, I'm going to be showing you guys the overall point standings as of event number seven. So, the Master Jackinator is extending his points lead dramatically. He's your points leader with 70 points, and then Austin Rojas is in second with 54 points right there. So, there is a big gap between first and second. And then we have Isaac J1888 with 52, Monster Jam Firestorm with 51, Mac Bulldog Mac with 50, Monster Jam Collector 2007 with uh, 50, Monster Jam Bro with 44, Jacoby Griffin with 37, Door Z with uh, 35, and uh, Monster Jam Collector 2007 with 33. And uh, that is your top 10 as of the uh, for points. So. I don't know. It looks like right now, obviously, the Master Jackinator, it's looking like he's probably going to be uh, your winner this season, uh, helping Team Hot Wheels. But now, just look for your guys' name, and we'll try to go down as quickly as I can. Uh, sorry, as slowly as I can. But I might speed it up. I don't know. One of the big jumpers was uh, Anthony Yost in Surf Monster. I think he was in, like like 46th last time and now he jumped all the way up to 25 after getting second place last event so good for him and we are getting to the lower half of the bracket right here and yet again curry gaming and monster gym dallas have not made it past round number one let's see if they can do it this time they are in uh saigon shaker and the thunderbus so we'll see um uh, if I can get my mouse over there. We'll see if they can uh, make it past round number one this event. But that is the overall points as of event number seven. So let's check out the round number one matchups for event number eight. So here are your races for round number one. So we're going to kick it all off with the World Finals 20 Avenger and Maximum Destruction. Then we're going to head on down here. I have noticed that the randomizer app that I use has paired up uh, previous champions up against some notoriously fast trucks, like for example, uh, your points leader and your defending champ up against the Galaxy's El Toro Loco. It's not doing very well for points, but it is still a very fast truck. Um, what is another example I can think of? I'm looking, oh, okay. All right, I found another one. Uh, the Mud Trucks Captain's Curse and the Gear Soldier Fortune is another example. I'm pretty sure Captain's Curse was your Event 2 champion, and Soldier Fortune is also a pretty fast truck. Ended off round number one with the Galaxy's Megalodon and Anger Management. So without further ado, let's get Event number eight started. Event number eight is underway. And it's going to be an easy win for the World Finals 20 Avenger. Next up, we have Steel Striker taking on the Breaking World Records Monster Mutt Dalmatian. And I believe it's Steel Striker. Yes, Steel Striker takes out Dalmatian. Next up, we have Utter Madness taking on the Mix 16 Son of a Digger. And it's going to be Utter Madness with a wheelie win. Next up, we have Yellow El Toro Loco taking on the Mix 16 Monster Mutt. And, oh, El Toro Loco takes a hard right-hand turn, and that gives the win to the Mix-16 Monster Mutt. Next up, we have the Gears Earthshaker taking on Survivor. And Earthshaker takes out Survivor. Next up, we have the Blackout Max D taking on the Spectre Flames Spike Unleashed. Ooh, Max D rolls, and Spike Unleashed gets the win. Next up, we have the OCD Meltdown taking on the Galaxy Zombie. Oh, Galaxy Zombie flips over way too early, and that gets the win to the OCD Meltdown. Next up, we have the Boneyard Trucks Mohawk Warrior taking on the Showtime Trucks Gravedigger. And Mohawk Warrior takes out Gravedigger. Next up, we have a blackout battle between Gravedigger and Higher Education. And, oh, they both flip, but... Ooh. That sunlight sucks here. I'm going to get a top angle. Oh, that looks awesome. Uh, higher Education gets the win. This is straight down, by the way. But I'm just going from this way because of the glare. Next up, we have Predator taking on the Elemental Trucks Hurricane Force. 
Whoa, what a save by Predator, and he will take out Elemental Trucks Hurricane Force. Next up, we have the Holiday Stun Truck taking on the Spectre Flames Monster Mutt. And Monster Mutt takes out the Holiday Stun Truck. Next up, we have the Galaxy Zoltoro Loco taking on your defending champ and points leader. And your defending champ takes out the Galaxy Zoltoro Loco. Next up, we have the Mud Trucks Avenger taking on Nightmare Express. Oh, nice somersault by the Mud Trucks Avenger, and he takes out Nightmare Express. Next up, we have the Spectre Flames Iron Outlaw taking on Super Trucker. Oh, good race. And just barely, it is going to be Iron Outlaw taking out Super Trucker. Next up, we have the Blackout Altura Loco taking on Wise Guy. And Blackout Altura Loco takes out Wise Guy. Can the Thunderbus finally make it past round number one? No! He is still stuck losing in round number one. Rage and Steel takes out the Thunderbus. Surprisingly... This Surf Monster did very well last event. Let's see how he does up against Kraken. And he will take out Kraken. Kraken falls over at the end. Still doesn't matter. It doesn't help him take out Surf Monster. Next up, we have Goldberg taking on the Elemental Truck Zombie. And Goldberg takes out Zombie. Next up, we have the Gears Max D taking on Cyborg. And Gears Max D takes out Cyborg. Next up, we have Heartbreaker taking on the Breaking World Records El Toro Loco. And El Toro Loco takes out Heartbreaker. Next up, we have the Mix 15 Grave of the Legend taking on Chill Out. Ooh, I think Chill Out took out Grave Digger, I believe. I'll go down here. Yes, Chill Out takes out Grave Digger. Can Saigon Shaker finally make it past round number one? No! Both him and the Thunderbus are still stuck losing in round number one. Man, that sucks. We got ourselves an old versus new Scarlet Bandit. Got the pink Scarlet Bandit and the red Scarlet Bandit. And the pink Scarlet Bandit takes out the red Scarlet Bandit. Next up, we have Donkey Kong taking on the Mix 16 Soldier Fortune. And Donkey Kong blocks Soldier Fortune for the win. Next up, we have the Inverse Northern Nightmare taking on the Galaxy's Pirate's Curse. And Galaxy's Pirate's Curse takes out Northern Nightmare. Next up, we have the Mud Truck's Captain's Curse taking on the Gear Soldier Fortune. And it's going to be the Mud Truck's Captain's Curse taking on Soldier Fortune. Ah, oh, great. Now this dude wants it. Hi, dude. Ah, uh, are you doing your army crawl again, dude? All right, well, please not try to disturb this event, okay? That's all I'm saying. Uh, all right, we got the purple 30th anniversary Gravedigger and Thunder 4x4. And Thunder 4x4 takes out the purple 30th anniversary Gravedigger. Next up, we have Wild Thing taking on the Breaking World Record Zombie. And... I believe it's Wild Thing. Here, I gotta stand up for this. Holy cow, this is a close race. I think just barely right there, if I can get the camera to focus, I think Wild Thing won. Yes, yes he did. So Wild Thing takes out Zombie. Next up, we have Great Bite taking on the Breaking World Record Soldier Fortune. And Great Bite takes out Soldier Fortune. Next up, we have the Gear Son of a Digger taking on the Blackout Monster Mutt Dalmatian. And... You not mind interrupting the video, please, dude? Hey, don't give me that look. <sighs> He's so annoying. Uh, Son of a Digger takes out Dalmatian. Okay, dude, I'll take you out right now. Rogan will come in this room, walk around for like a minute, and then want to leave. It's the same cycle over and over every single day. Gotta love dogs. And El Matador showing his speed against Brodozer. And your final race of round number one is going to be between the Galaxy's Megalodon and Anger Management. And Megalodon easy win over Anger Management.
So these 32 trucks do get a total of one point for event number eight. So sorry guys, better luck next time. So here are your races for round number two. I'm gonna kick it all off with the World Finals 20 Avenger and Steel Striker that we're gonna head on down here. I believe all of our past champions, including your previous champion, are still in this event. So better watch out for them, you guys. Ending off round number two with El Matador and the Galaxy's Megalodon. So, here we go. And the World Finals 20 Avenger blocks Steel Striker for the win. Next up, we have Utter Madness taking on the Mix 16 Monster Mutt. Oh, I thought Utter Madness had it. That was a very cool save, but Monster Mutt takes him out. Next up, we have the Gears Earthshaker taking on the Spectre Flame Spike Unleashed. And it's going to be Earthshaker taking out Spike for the win. Next up, we have the Goop Truck taking on the Boneyard Truck's Mohawk Warrior. And it's Mohawk Warrior with a comeback win. Wow. That was an insane race right there. And Blackout Higher Education blocks Predator for the win. Next up, we have the Spectre Flames Monster Mutt taking on your points leader and defending champ. And Monster Mutt takes out your points leader and defending champ. Wow. So there's another upset right there. This time, it's your points leader. We'll see how that shake up, shakes up the points. But I still think uh, the Master Jackinator is your points leader. But wow, Monster Mutt making a name for itself. Next up, we have the Mud Trucks Avenger taking on the Spectre Flames Iron Outlaw. And Avenger takes out Iron Outlaw with ease. Next up, we have the Black Adult Toro Loco taking on Rage and Steel. And Black Adult Toro Loco takes out Rage and Steel. I don't know what the heck that noise was out there. Next up, we have Surf Monster taking on Goldberg. And Goldberg takes out Surf Monster just barely. So the historic run by Surf Monster ends in round number two. Next up, we have the Gears Max D taking on the Breaking World Records El Toro Loco. And Max D takes out El Toro Loco. Next up, we have Chill Out taking on the Blackout Team Hot Wheels Firestorm. And, ooh, I gotta go up from this angle. Oh, Chill Out takes out Hot Wheels, but I thought that flip over by Hot Wheels might have helped him. Anyways, chill out. We'll get the win. Next up, we have the Pink Scarlet Bandit taking on Donkey Kong. And Scarlet Bandit takes out Donkey Kong, so there's another upset. Next up, we have a pirate battle between the Galaxy's Pirate's Curse and the Mud Truck's Captain's Curse. And it's going to be the Mud Truck's Captain's Curse taking out Pirate's Curse. Next up, we have Thunder 4x4 taking on Wild Thing. Nothing is stopping this Thunder 4x4 truck. Next up, we have Thunder 4x4 taking on Wild Thing. And Wild Thing upsets Thunder 4x4. So there's another upset here in round number two. Next up, we have Great Bite taking on the Gear Son of a Digger. And Great Bite takes out the Gear Son of a Digger. And your final race of round number two is going to be between El Matador and the galaxy is Megalodon. And I believe it's Megalodon. Let me come up here. Um, from the aerial view, Megalodon takes out El Matador. So these 16 trucks do get a total of three points for event number eight. So sorry guys, better luck next time. So many upsets this round, including OCD Meltdown, who was a past champion, I believe. Your points leader and previous champion got eliminated this round. Uh, what's another one I can think of? Uh, Donkey Kong, he was in the top 10 for points. I think Galaxy's Pirate's Curse was in the top 15 for points. And I think Thunder 4x4 might have been in the top 20. And I know El Matador was in the uh, top, uh, top 5 for points. So there you guys go. Big names lost in this round. So here are your trucks in round number three. I'm going to kick it all off with the World Finals 20 Avenger and the Mix 16 Monster Mutt that we're going to head on down here. 
A few shocking trucks I did not expect to make it this far, including the Spectre Flames Monster Mutt, the Pink Scarlet Bandit, Wild Thing, and Great Bites. So, yeah, guys, let's get round number three started. First up, we have the World Finals 20 Avenger taking on the Mix 16 Monster Mutt. And I think that's Avenger. All right, so this is straight. And move the camera over. Okay, there we go. And yes, Avenger takes out Monster Mutt. Next up, we have the Gears Earthshaker taking on the Boneyard Trucks Milwaukee Warrior. And it's going to be the Gears Earthshaker just barely taking out the Boneyard Trucks Milwaukee Warrior. Next up, we have the Blackout Higher Education taking on the Spectre Flames Monster Mutt. And Higher Education takes out Monster Mutt with a wheelie. Next up, we have the Mud Trucks Avenger taking on the Blackout El Toro Loco. And Avenger takes out the Blackout El Toro Loco. Next up, we have Goldberg taking on the Gears Max D. And I think it's Goldberg. Yes, Goldberg takes out the Gears Max D. Next up, we have Chill Out taking on the Pink Scarlet Bandit. Oh, wow, they both flip over. I think Chill Out's back tire gave him the win. Yes, Chill Out takes out the Pink Scarlet Bandit. Next up, we have the Mud Trucks Captain's Curse taking on Wild Thing. And Mud Trucks Captain's Curse destroys Wild Thing. And your final race of round number three is going to be a shark battle between Great Bite and the Galaxy's Megalodon. And it's going to be Megalodon taking out Great Bite. So these eight trucks do get a total of five points for event number eight. And that's pretty much right in the middle, you guys. Which does include both Monster Mutts, which is uh, funny. And three trucks I did not expect to make it this far. I expected them to either lose in round number one or two, but making it into round number three is an accomplishment for those three trucks. So here are your trucks in the quarterfinals. I'm gonna kick it all off with the World Finals 20 Avenger and the Gears Earthshaker. Then we have the Blackout Higher Education and the Mud Trucks Avenger. Goldberg and Chill Out. And rounding it out, the Mud Trucks Captain's Curse and the Galaxy's Megalodon. So let's get the quarterfinals started. First up, we have Avenger and Earthshaker. Avenger gets the win. Next up, we have the Blackout Higher Education taking on the Mud Trucks Avenger. Oh, Higher Education does a wheelie and he will take out Avenger. Next up, we have Goldberg taking on Chill Out. And Goldberg takes out Chill Out with ease. And your final race of the quarterfinals is going to be between the Galaxy's Megalodon and the Mud Trucks Captain's Curse. And Megalodon takes out Captain's Curse. So these four trucks do get a total of seven points for event number eight. And that is very good, you guys. Very good. Which does include the Mud Trucks Captain's Curse, who I'm pretty sure is in second in the overall point standings and he did win event number two so we'll see how that shakes out the points we'll find that out in the beginning of event number nine so here's the semi-finals inside of the world finals tony avenger you have monster jam firestorm inside of the blackout higher education you have that one guy inside of goldberg you have monster jam collector 2007 who is a previous champion and inside of the galaxy's megalodon you have jacoby griffin so I believe all four of these guys have actually made it to the semifinals. Only Goldberg has won it. I think uh, Avenger made it to the championship race but lost. And I'm pretty sure these two guys made it to the semifinals but lost. So we'll see what happens. First up, we have Avenger in the Blackout Higher Education. And Higher Education blocks Avenger doing a wheelie. And that sends that one guy to the championship race. So sorry to Monster Jam Firestorm and the World Finals 20 Avenger. You came very close, my man, very close to winning event number eight. Better luck next time in event number nine. But that one guy in the Blackout Higher Education is in the championship race. So who's going to join that one guy in the championship race? Jacoby Griffin or Monster Jam Collector 2007? It's going to be... Monster Jam Collector 2007, so sorry to Jacoby Griffin and the Galaxy's Megalodon. You came very close, my friend, very close to winning event number eight. 
Better luck next time in event number nine, but nine points is nothing to be ashamed of. But Monster Jam Collector 2007 is in another championship race. So these two guys do get a total of nine points for event number eight, and that is very good, you guys, very good. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Better luck next time in event number nine. But now, let's go to the championship race. So in the championship race of event number eight, Inside of the Blackout Higher Education, you have that one guy. And inside of Goldberg, you have Monster Jam Collector 2007. So I know for a fact Monster Jam Collector 2007 has won before. I believe it was event number four, if I'm not mistaken. So he's looking to become the second ever person to win multiple events, only behind the Master Jackinator. And I believe that one guy is just looking to boost his overall spot in the overall point standing. So... Got a very interesting championship race. I'm very excited to see who will win. So let's go to the first race right now. Higher Education wins the first race. Will that one guy win event number eight and become a brand new champion in the Blackout Higher Education? Or will Monster Jam Collector 2007 get a win and tie it and force one more race? Let's find out. Just barely, Monster Jam Collector 2007 forces one more race. This is intense, guys. Both of these guys are probably on the edge of their seats right now. I honestly do not expect Blackout Higher Education to make it this far. I know for a fact that this is a very fast truck. It's just, I didn't expect it to make it this far. And we all know the story with Monster Jam Collector 2007 and Goldberg. He is a former champion. He did win event number four this season. He's looking for a second ever win to join uh the master jackinator for the most wins this season so who is your winner of event number eight is it going to be that one guy in the blackout higher education or monster jam collector 2007 in goldberg your winner of event number eight is going to be none other than he did not hit my knee my knee i pushed my knee off to the side which means your winner is monster jam collector 2007 in goldberg Congratulations, Max. You have done it again. Four events later, in event number eight, you get your second ever win. 15 points will definitely help you out. And you have a shot to go chase after the Master Jackinator for the overall points uh, championship. So sorry to that one guy in the Blackout Higher Education. You came so close to winning event number eight. 12 points will definitely help you move into the uh, top 10 for overall points we will find that out the overall points in the beginning of event number nine so stay tuned for that you guys so that was event number eight you guys we got ourselves another two-time champion so make sure to crush that like button if you guys like this video why not consider subscribing it's 100 percent free you guys can always undo it we are on the road to 700 subscribers right now if you're a new person and you're seeing this video please do consider subscri subscribing it's 100 percent free like i always do say and you can always change your mind later. We are five subscribers away from 700. I've been at 700 subscribers for like two or three months now. And I want to make it to uh, 700. So come on, guys. Let's do it. And also, you guys can follow me on Instagram at MonsterJamFan0311. You guys get exclusive content on stuff that I'm going to post. And you get to reserve trucks for Monster Jam sign-up series and points competitions. It is always worth it. But I don't force you guys to. The link for my Instagram is down in my description. If anyone ever reads my description. So it is down there. One last congratulations to my boy, Monster Jam Collector 2007 in Goldberg. You have done it once again, Max. Once again.